Hey guys. So, I know this is strange, not on Matt and Catherine, but basically, I wanted to start this YouTube channel, like aside from Matt and Catherine, because a lot of the things I want to do on our YouTube channel, like Matt wouldn't really have any interest in, like makeup stuff or like routines or like where things are from that I wear, no one really cares, but I like doing it anyways, so. Um, also, I kind of like doing it more frequently. Matt doesn't mind spacing it out by like a couple weeks or months. I kind of like doing videos more often. So I thought maybe if I did it on my own YouTube channel, it wouldn't be as strange. Because it's Matt and Catherine, so if it's just a bunch of videos of me in a row on that YouTube channel, that's weird. So I thought, here I am. Now, um, I'm, I, I'm not making an intro yet for a few reasons. One, I have no friends here to like take pictures or videos of me here. Like all of my friends are back at home. Also, like that's basically it. And I don't know how to make like a creative cartoony one like on that like James Charles has like is the example like the cartoon of your face. Like I don't know how to do that. I also Sorry, I thought I heard someone at the door. I'm not like established at all. So like there'd be no need to do that time and effort into a, into an intro. I'm sorry, I keep spacing out. I don't know what is going on, but I recently got this necklace and it's the Vivian Westwood necklace and it is so cute and I'm so obsessed. It's this one. I know every like basic TikToker, Instagram or YouTuber, whatever has one. I don't really care. And I got my BFF slash sister slash really everything. <laughs> Mercedes. I got her one too, but hers is silver and mine is gold for her birthday. Because for my birthday last year, she got me a Gucci ring that she and she had the same one so we were matching so I thought I'd like keep up the tradition and get her something that matches with something that I already have you know I don't know I don't know if that's cute or not she liked it but also this top I'm kind of obsessed with like a girl on a budget here I can't be going and buying like plain tank tops from like free people and urban outfitters because that's just like dumb I got this at Target and it's really cute I think it was like $10 to be completely honest with you, but it's a slight bit see-through. So either like stickies or like a strapless bra or something because I mean, unless you're into that, unless you don't care, but like for me, I just get self-conscious. So of course I'm going to wear something underneath and then here, I'll stand up. I'll show you these pants. These joggers are so cute. It actually came with a matching top. But I I didn't want to like wear too much going on, you know. I kind of like switching it up. Mac gave me the that set for Christmas, and it was so cute. He didn't know what to get me. Ugh. So I guess after work one day, he was like, "Oh, like I'm just working late." No, 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 no. that's a lie. Actually, he went before work one day, which is kind of strange. What Target is open when he has to be at work? Oh, oh, okay. He had a late call, like a late day, like he was going in at like nine or something and he went to Target before work. And I guess he said he was just walking around looking for something to get me for Christmas. And he goes, oh, like I know she likes matching sets or like pajamas or whatever. So he found these and I like them cause it's like kind of like a dark grayish blue and white and then like subtle hints of pink in there, which is, I love. And it fit perfectly. Well, not really, actually. He's like, try it on, try it on. Did I get your size? And I put it on. He got an extra small, and it was still a tad bit too big. Well, for a few reasons. I think they make, like, joggers like this on the bigger side, so you can just, like, pull, like, tie it tighter or whatever. And also, the fashion industry makes clothes for tall people. 
not for people that are just over the legal midget height, like me. But it was really cute, yeah, so that's what I'm wearing. And then, this is a really, really cute scrunchie. I know, basic, whatever, forget about it. My mom gave it to me for Christmas. It's from Lululemon. I can't afford to shop there because their leggings and their tops are no cheaper than $50. Like their tops are maybe like 50, 60, 70, and then their leggings are probably like 70 to 100, 100 something. So it's nice. And then I have um, David Yerman jewelry. I'm actually obsessed with David Yerman. I always have. It's really pretty, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know why I like it. I can't describe it. But my dad gave me this one for my 16th birthday. No, not my 16th birthday. For Christmas that year, I turned 16. And then my mom and her beau gave her, gave her, gave me this to kind of match for my 20th birthday. And then this is my mom's and I kind of just took it from her. A while ago because she she never wore it and it, I just love it so I took it I also have the matching ring but that one's kind of broken so it's like being fixed I don't know how it would it like snapped like in the bottom like there's just a little I don't know I don't know I'm, I don't do jewelry I don't know but um I never like put jewelry on and like get dressed like I mean like I do get dressed though but like in an outfit like I'm always just in my like crappy pajamas because there's nothing to do I'm telling you um we didn't really go out much anyways because obviously pandemic duh but for work Matt will literally get in trouble if he's seen in public anywhere especially around you know inauguration time let's not talk about that let's not get into it just whatever um here is to talk about the fun, girly, you know, whatever, having fun, makeup, stuff. Well, not necessarily girly. Like, every, like anyone can like that, to be completely honest. But, sorry, I'm fixing my part. It's not centered and it's annoying me. But, especially then, because he had to go, or he was supposedly supposed to go, he couldn't be out in public. So, also, the only times I do my makeup is either A, when I just, like, want to feel good and, like, feel myself. And, like take cute pictures with my my phone with the timer again like we said we have no friends or like if we're going out on a date not really on going out on a date because indoor seating is basically closed here completely but like we'll go pick up take out somewhere and then we'll sit in the car and we'll just like listen to music or I'll have like a movie going on my iPad or my phone not my phone, or my computer, and we'll just like eat dinner in the car. <laughs> it's cuter than it sounds, okay? We're trying our best here. But, um, I completely just lost my train of thought. I haven't had my coffee today, that's why. Um, oh, by the way, not to sound basic again, there's this coffee maker. Now, my mother would not like this because she likes making it like the pot of coffee or like the Keurig. I don't really know the difference. She has a bunch of coffee makers. This one is Mr. Coffee and it's an iced coffee maker. I mean, it doesn't really make sense to me because it comes out hot. Obviously, I guess that's to like melt the coffee grounds or whatever, but it makes a single serving like in an, like a, a large Dunkin' or like a venti Starbucks and it comes with the little tumbler like coffee cup and basically it is so easy to use, it's so easy to clean, and, and, on their website at Mr. Coffee, that's like almost $100, that machine. You go to Target and it's only 30 but then again, everyone's like hearing about it from TikTok and everything, so it's sold out all the time, like all over the place, which is super annoying. Like I was watching my Target app for weeks, like I would do like send me an email when it's in stock, like um, all that. Like I wanted one so bad because think about it, $30 for, $30 for the machine from Target and then what, $10, $15 on the actual coffee grounds or like coffee beans, whatever. And then like $5 on a creamer or like whatever you put in it. 
yeah, that's a lot, but think about it. If you're going to Starbucks or you're going to Dunkin' every day getting coffee, in the long run, that is, I think, a save in my book. But, um, I just made a bunch of TikToks and I get so self-conscious because like, I'm not stick skinny like every other girl on the app. Oh, hold on, can we talk about something? I might need your opinion. So in November, I literally dyed my hair blonde. Like, as you can see, you can still see the underneath kind of like blondish pieces. But yeah, it grew out, but not just that. It literally like isn't blonde anymore. I use purple shampoo. I use like masks and stuff like that. But it's not, it's like, did it just, does it disappear? Like when you bleach your hair, it takes the pigment out of your hair, correct? Like, not to sound like an idiot, but obviously it's not as blonde up here because it grew out. And then up here, I used to have so much blonde up here, and now it's not. Like, my hair is naturally so dark, obviously, so when it grows out, it's not like it fades very much. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a hair person either. And I had to blow dry it and, like, maybe curl or straighten it until, like, use a heat straightener. Also... This turned into like a telling you about my YouTube channel to like a rant to be completely honest. I have been watching skincare by Hiram since probably last June and uh, I was using like stuff I'd always used that I thought was fine like I kind of knew like to stay away from certain things. Like I never did use like Thayer's like Witch Hazel or like Proactive Ruin My Skin back in the day when it was popular. But then I started watching it and he's like, yeah, like makeup wipes are bad and this and this and this. And I was like, Ugh. I've been ruined. I've been thinking this has been helping and I don't know. So I kind of got obsessed and then I bought everything Cer CeraVe, CeraVe, however you want to say it. And then I get more, I'm like, do I want to spend a little more on my skincare? So, um, basically I kind of indulged, not really indulged, but kind of treated myself. I got the first aid beauty, like coconut water moisturizer. And then I got the Paula's Choice, like, healing solution whatever it's called it's like the BHA solution or something and I hear that really helps like clear up scarring and stuff out of your pores and I'm super excited for that and then oh I got the youth to the people um uh, what's it called youth to the people something something like cleanser I think you know it's like in a glass bottle it's green at least all like my skincare like friends would know what I'm talking about especially my BFF James he'll know what that's about or what it is and then I want to try the Crave barrier like great barrier relief like serum serum sorry I'm blanking out but I see I don't really have issues with my skin as much anymore I do have some scarring over here I want to fix and then I get really dry here and then my nose basically I don't get oily which is like lucky me if it looks shiny it's because I kind of go ham with highlight I know I didn't contour my nose well let's not talk about it I wanted to like and then the lighting over here is like cool tone and then the lighting over here is warm so it's like night and I don't know I have this ring light and I know you're supposed to use like the different like toned lighting for different times of the day. Couldn't tell you. I kind of tried to match it to the outdoor lighting, but the bluer tinted one, like it, it just wasn't very flattering. And then I used the like the kind of goldish tone one and I just looked orange. And then the white one, it's like kind of doing it fine. I kind of look pretty good, but... Um, I want to do my next video. I don't know if I want to do like using the products necessarily because it's really messy and then I don't know. I'll probably make another video like reviewing them. Ooh, I can review products too. Be like, no, not them. I'm not going to talk about them. I can be like 
Tati Westbrook, except what happened to her? She made this really controversial video about what the whole thing with like James Charles and like Jeffree Star and like Shane Dawson and then she like disappeared. I kind of used to like watching her reviews and whatever. I don't know, but also not to sound like a nerd. There's this show that just came out. It's called Fate, and it's, like, based off of that Winx cartoon. It's on Netflix. It is so good. It, it's, like, I think 10 episodes-ish. There's only one season. And I watched it right when it came out, and I looked everywhere. There is nowhere online saying that they've confirmed, like, a season two or when it's coming out. I hate when that happens. I've been waiting for Luc Lucifer to come back forever. Also... Like, I watch Legacies too because I'm a diehard, like, Vampire Diaries fan because I'm basic. Like, Legacies, like, stopped in the middle because of the pandemic and then they're slowly coming back and then apparently... Okay, I won't get all nerdy on you. But it's like, it sucks when you're in the middle of a show and it ended and you have no idea when the next is coming out. Like, you, the show you, with the actor that played Dan Humphrey from Gossip Girl... I don't know when that's coming out next. Like, you can't really predict. You see, I try to predict when it is, and then it doesn't end up happening around then at all. So, I won't make a career in predicting when TV shows are coming out. <laughs> but, how long have I been rambling on for? 15 minutes? Wow, I'm such a chatterbox. I could probably sit here for so long. Like, when Matt's at work, and either when I'm out doing my thing, or I sometimes do Postmates. Like, well not sometimes, like, just to make some extra cash on the side, I'll like do Postmates and stuff. So when I'm not out doing that, I mean, you don't really talk when you're doing that either. You just sit in your car and you bring in people's stuff. But, um, I need to talk or else I get antsy. So if I go, like, the only other person here is Frank. And clearly Frank doesn't talk back, he just stares at you. So, like, if there's a day where I don't, like, call my a friend or my parents or something, and I'm just sitting here watching TV, Matt will come home and I'll sit there moving my mouth for, like, an hour. And he's like, I'm trying to play video games with the boys. Like, can you land the plane, sum it up? Like, I'm like... But I need to talk. I don't know if anyone can relate to that or not. But, yeah. I think I annoy my parents sometimes when I just call them and, like, just talk their ear off in the middle of the day. Like, they're kind of busy. And also, I don't think my dad is a big phone person at all. Like, you can sit in person and if you, like, watch a movie or, like, run errands or go out to dinner or, like, just hang out, like, He'll sit there and talk to you for hours. But when you're on the phone, he's like, oh, like, hey, I love you. How are you doing? Is everyone alive? Is everyone healthy? All right, peace. I have to, like, I have a conference call. My mom can is like me. She can sit there on the phone for hours or just talk in general. I mean, I think my mom has kind of gotten better at sitting and talking on the phone or FaceTime because that's the only way we can talk, you know, because... I don't like like obviously flying is a is an option to go home but I just it gives me I don't I don't want to I just you know I don't want to show up and so when I I've, I've only flown once during the pandemic and it was just to go home to see my family and I like I brought all sorts of like antibacterial wipes during security I like wiped down my suitcase after it went through, wiped down everything that was in the bins. I wiped down the bins. Like, I wore, like, three pairs of socks so then I can take off, like, two of the pairs after I wa- No. I didn't wear it through. I brought an extra pair so I could change my socks so then the germs didn't get back in my shoes. Like, I wore a shield. I wore masks. Like, I wiped down the seat before I sat on it. Like, I didn't eat or drink anything on the plane. Like, I just left it on. I didn't go to the bathroom, like, I wiped down the seat I sat in, waiting at my gate, like, I just am so nervous, like, obviously I'm nervous, like, to get it, but, like, more so my parents that are older, I don't want them getting it, or 
my brothers or anybody really so i just don't like doing it it gives me anxiety i know it's like frowned upon as well and then to drive home i am kind of chicken to sit in the car for eight hours and drive home by myself like it's one thing when i'm in the car with matt and we're doing it and we switch off but i'm kind of too big of a chicken to do a road trip like that by myself especially with frankie too like obviously i have to like take him out and like walk him every hour or two and i just get nervous like walking around by myself like in the middle of nowhere or like in some unfamiliar place or at a rest stop basically i've just watched too many like true crime shows or like criminal minds or like just creepy shows where it made me really paranoid but i need to wrap this up like i just said i need to land the plane like i I think I've said what I needed to say and rambled, but do expect that video of reviewing those Hiram recommended skincare products. And then maybe if, like I, I keep stuttering. If there's any recommendations of videos I can do, I have so many planned out, written down of things I wanna do with Matt but like more so maybe on the more me side of things like videos I could do because I don't want to just do all the oh you know what video I want to do the what's in my bag video I have been seeing those since I was a kid like the YouTube videos of like oh what's in my purse and it's not actually what's in your purse it's what you want everyone to think is in your purse but I still want to do one because those are really fun and those are cute okay anyways see you guys soon and See you guys soon and what is my closing thing i want to say <laughs> i don't know what just happened there um mm, see you soon stay safe stay healthy and i don't know forget it <laughs>